Wolfman Lewis, your godfather wolf. Welcome back to Chill Age Jebba. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are. Something different and unique here on the channel. You saw the title. The uh, one season sim series for the Cleveland Browns, ladies and gentlemen. The Cleveland Browns are one of the only uh, teams of a couple, very few, to make the Super Bowl. To actually win a Super Bowl. This, however, is going to change, perhaps. As we're going to select offense. We'll tell more in just a moment. Let's listen to Ty Wingo. Last Sunday, Ford Field, Super Bowl 40. Facing the NFL's stingiest defense, the team rallied around their brilliant offensive coordinator who outwitted his opponent for 60 minutes. The opposition's defense seemed clueless as they were scored on time and time again. With the Lombardi Trophy now on his resume, this coordinator will take the helm as a head coach. Let's take a closer look at the offensive architect. That was actually Trey Wingo. I don't, say, I don't know why I said Ty Wingo. Anyway, nonetheless, we're going to do this as quick as possible uh, here on this. What's the name of our guy? Well, our guy, his name... Is going to be Kenny One Chance. Whoops, Let me try that again. Kenny, one chance. Why? Because we only have one season, sim season. Play it. We're in business. So he's going to go. He's going to go. Uh, single back. And we're going to go cover two. Everything is default because it really doesn't matter. Only time will tell how this coordinator adjusts from running an offense to running a whole team. All we know for sure is fans in 31 cities are asking, is my team getting this year's hottest commodity in a headset? I assure everybody the NFL head coach series, uh, the New York Jets with our man Sam Carson is not going anywhere. So whatever you do, ladies and gentlemen, don't think that series has ended and it, it, it has not ended and it's still going to continue. So, of course, we're picking the Cleveland Browns because that's what this Good is all about. You. So, hey, Kenny, thanks for calling. I promise to keep this brief. I am happy to answer any questions you have. So who do we look to? to? We're going to look for uh, strategists. We're going to look for uh, uh, Bill Walsh. How would you handle being tied against a great opponent with only one minute left in the half. Depends on where I am on the field, but I'm always looking to score. Let's go with that. At different times during the game, okay, when do you motivate your players? At different times during the game, especially before key plays, uh, hope to, they hope the ways to, uh, to motivate themselves. We don't want to do that. Before the game starts, I don't add to the pressure once it's underway. We're going to go with that. The season kicks off in one week. Who is going to start for you? I want a young, or I want young athletic guys who play with lots of energy and emotion. I tend to look towards my veterans. I make the judgment calls on which players after reviewing film with my staff. Let's go with that pay your player eval goes up. How many hours do you personally put in every day during the regular season? I keep my hours reasonable and burned out as much as it takes. Yes, sir. You can choose one of these quarterbacks to lead your team next season. Who is it? The smart guy? The quarterback who can beat the defense by throwing and in running? Let's go with that. He can throw the defense by throwing in running. The best. Describe your ideal running back. 
like a guy who can who uh, can give 25 carries a game without fumbling. Let's go with that. Okay, the same question, but with receivers, who do you put on your team? Blazing speeds, good hands. How does the tight end fit into your strategy? I like a guy that can block and catch. Have balance on the ball, so that's good. Who is the most important player on your offensive line, coach? They are equally important. Just one more question, coach, about defense. Last season, which group helped the most to uh, help the most to their uh, defensive overall success? Uh, go with the Colts defensive line. Thank you. I think you, so you much know what I'm going to say. Okay, we'll go to email here. I apologize for that. Uh, here we go. The agent says we got five people, five teams that are available that want to have given us offers. Of course, we got the Browns. The Browns are 18.1 over five years. The goal was to win eight games, draft the marquee quarterback, uh, increase our total rushing uh, touchdowns, and increase uh, total rushing yards improved by rushing defense. They went six and ten last year. Their offensive coordinator. Has a 69 overall, as well as their offense or defensive coordinator has 68 overall. Their cap is 57.9. They're tied up, and uh, they have 44.81 remaining. So they got good things for for cap. Okay, so they got good cap. Room. Who else do we got? Just to see what's going on. So they want Texans, 66.3 over three years. And, of course, they want to draft a marquee quarterback, increase the total rushing defense or total rushing touchdowns, continue to score in the red zone, and increase their total passing yards. 68 and 87 is their overall defensive and offensive coordinator, offensive and defensive coordinator. Uh, the Green Bay Packers, 7.4 over 2. They want to win eight games, improve rushing defense, convert more on third down. Uh, increased uh, total rushing yards. Uh, 64 or 65 and 64 is your offensive defense uh, defensive coordinator overalls. And of course, we're going to play uh, against Brett, you know, with Brett Favre. And of course, we got 10.4 over three years from the New Orleans Saints. They want eight games to win. They want to protect this uh, or protect better this year, and they want to increase or protect their quarterback this year. They want to increase the red zone defense. And their total rushing yards, and they want to sack the quarterback more. 63 and 57 overall for their uh, offensive and defensive coordinator. And of course, the Detroit Lions, 6.7 over three years. Uh, they want to win eight games, want to draft the marquee quarterback, improve their rushing defense, and improve the total yards uh, for rushing. It's 93 and 78 overall for their offensive defensive uh, uh, coordinators. So what do we do? Of course we do. We picked the Cleveland Browns, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops. God, well, come on. We picked the Cleveland Browns, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Becoming the greatest coach of all time. It's a saga that we're all fond of here at NFL Films. One coach in particular stood out from the rest. Driven by his dream, this coach knew that being the greatest of all time meant winning games, breaking coaching records, developing Pro Bowl players, and turning coordinators into exceptional head coaches. Most importantly, it meant winning Super Bowls. His heart was set on seeing his image bronzed at the end of the Hall of Legends. It would serve as a reminder to all that visited, here is the greatest coach of all time. This is his story. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will turn on the auto save. All right, so here we go. We're going to meet the coaching staff in this one. First, we got an orientation. We're going to just rush through this orientation. If you want to know how it goes, you may look at uh, my NFL coach, the Raiders, or NFL head coach, the New York Jets series. I uh, think I went through with the Jets. I'm not sure if I did or not. I don't quite remember. Pleasure to meet you, Javon Agnew, the owner of the Jets. 
Sounds great. How do you think we'll fare? We're going to make the playoffs. This team is in bad shape. I'm not sure if I can fix it. We're going to make the playoffs. Let's tell him that. Thank you for the con condor or the candor. See, I kind of bumped my head when you responded. Talking to my staff. So we'll be able to do it. Good to know. Uh, if your staff trust is high, you'll be more inspired. You understand? Know, good. Okay, sounds useful. We'll exactly. Do. Here it is. Okay. Coach, hear me out. Yes. Okay, I guess I'm going through this. Let me go ahead and uh, pause this, get through this, and then we'll bring, we'll bring the video back in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got past that here. So here we are at the start of the, uh, start of the year. Hey there, management. Coach. Kenny, today I want to cover the changes that will affect the offseason. Sounds good. 102 in his salary cap. They have 11 uh, for the staff budget. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Exactly. Uh, Hi, Coach. Listen up. This year, the team needs to focus on rebuilding the future, and I agree with that. I expect to win eight games. Draft a marquee quarterback. Uh, increase our total rushing TDs. Uh, also, uh, expect us to increase our total rushing yards. Uh, finally, I want to improve our rushing defense. Okay. We need to talk. Today starts the higher end of coaching period. Thanks for the reminder. Mm, now, yeah. you, excuse me, I got to win at the Super Bowl. All right. So now we're going to go to the coaching staff real quick. I use the I I separate all that with the coach or with the other two uh, head coaching series, the Jets and the uh, Raiders series. But I'm going to I'm going to uh, do that on this episode here. All right, so we're going to meet the coaching staff here. So we're going to do here. This will be quick. Hey, Kenny. I'm Todd Grant Grantham, the defensive coordinator. Nice to meet you. Keep me around this year, and we'll be in the playoff hunt. Good. This team is moving on without you, so get up and get out. Hey, Chief. Okay. Hey, Kenny. My name is Mike Hollenchalk or whatever his name is. Linebackers coach. I sure. need you this year. We need to talk. Randy Melvin, the defensive lines coach. I'll be yeah. bringing you back this year. Good to talk to you. Welcome to the team. My name is Mel Tucker. I'll be bringing uh -huh. you back this year, Mel. Let's wrap this up. Special teams coach. I hey. need you this year. Hi, Coach. Listen up. Ben Coates, the tight ends coach. Yep. I need you this year. You're welcome me to the Let's team. Do I appreciate this. that. It's good to meet you, Kenny. I'm Jeff Davidson, your offensive lines coach. Nice to meet you. All right. I need you this year. This won't take long. Your wide receivers coach. Hey there, Kenny. I'm... Uh, your wide receivers coach, nice to meet you. Okay. I need you this year. I'd like a word with you. Mm -hmm. I need you this year. Hey, coach. Welcome aboard. I need Fine. you this year. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, the Browns coaching staff is pretty decent. Uh, going Pause. over and looking through the... Right. Uh, here, we'll take a look at the Browns coaching staff. Well, wait a minute. That's not how to do that. Shouldn't you think I should know how to do this by now? Okay. So here we go. Uh, our coaching roster, coaching coordinators. Uh, he's a 73, or that's, that's that's me. He's a 69 overall, uh, but he's going to get rid of him in just a minute. He's 62. He's 59. Uh, position coaches, 61, 61, 61, 74, 79, 56. And uh, 54, uh, Mel Tucker, the defensive backs coach. 
We're gonna get rid of him here. Hey, Chief. Yeah. So here we go with the interview coach. Try to get the coaching staff here. We need to interview this coach. We need to go to manage staff and whatnot. We're gonna do that here real quickly. I think it's fair, 8.2, 8, 820K over two years. Consider that done, you're welcome aboard. I'll say yes to that. Welcome aboard. There we go. All right. All right, so now we're going to manage our staff. We're looking to add a couple people. Hire coaches. I got one coach in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Romeo Crinnell. Is the coach we're looking for. Our offensive coordinator. We're going to put him as our uh, defensive coordinator, Romeo Cornell. Uh, defensive coordinator. Well, actually, we need, we need an offensive coordinator. It's not a defense. We need an offensive uh, thing here. Richard Kyle, Timmy O'Leary is an offensive coordinator. Sean Jackson. And we'll just have to go with Larry Vernon, I guess. Ah, right, so we're scheduling an interview with Larry Vernon, Romeo Cornell. We're going to interview a coach here. I think it's going to be uh, Romeo Cornell, if I am mistaken. Or is it another one of our coaches here? We'll find out. No, this is uh, Mel Tucker. 980K over two years. Consider that done. Welcome I'll take that any day. So there we go. Manage staff. We don't have to manage our staff because we got our staff we need. We just need to go to the interview coach process. Skip over that. Go interview coach. There he is, Romeo Cornell. Whoops, back up. Hey, he I'm is. listening. My name is Romeo Cornell. My last permission, or my last, uh, was uh, defensive coordinator. Of course, you were still, you were the coach of this team, Romeo. Uh, let's talk strategy. He got you three, four. Uh, we run this cover two. Uh,. Blocking the run, the pass is the reason I even need a tight end. Your defensive tackles aren't getting to the quarterback. If I was drafting a quarterback, what would you do? When drafting a quarterback, the most important thing is how well the new player fits into the system. So your linebacker, 3-4 defense is more important. I like what I heard. Uh, consider it done. Okay. Romeo Cornell is aboard. So Romeo Cornell is our defensive coordinator. And the reason why I like Romeo Cornell, I will show you all here in just a few minutes before we end the episode. I will show you exactly why I like Romeo Cornell as a defensive coordinator. The late great Romeo Cornell. I do believe Romeo Cornell. Okay, we're going to the next period.
All right. Here we go. No, Romeo Cornell is still around. I thought he passed. My bad. So Romeo Cornell is still around, I believe. Anyway, nonetheless, that's what, let me show you why I like Romeo Cornell, ladies and gentlemen. We got a management meeting going on here, and we'll use that management meeting real quick. Listen here. Last week, your goal was to build a coaching staff. I looked over the roster today, and I really like the staff we assembled. Thank you uh -huh. for the update. I'm going to talk about the listen, coach. Runner, uh, the re-signing of our players. Talk to your staff. See what you know. I'm on it. Right. Real quick. Restricted free agent starts this week. I'm looking forward to this. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, let me show you why I like Romeo Cornell real quickly. That's a defensive coordinator, why I like Romeo Cornell and why I think he's good for this for this team, for this, this defense of this team. So here we go. Coordinators. Defensive coordinator, defensive coordinator. I guess we still got uh, Maurice Carthon as our deep, uh, offensive coordinator, which I'm okay with that, I guess. So anyway, this is why I like it. He's 94 overall, is Romeo Cornell. Uh, as far as his pay, uh, as far as his uh, uh, work ethic, he's got a 90. His defensive line, his linebackers, and his defensive back is well up in the, uh, uh, the 90s or above. Uh, his special teams lack, but I'm telling you, Romeo Cornell is what this team needs. So ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, in the next episode, we are going to get it down in nitty gritty. We're going to look at the state of the team. We're going to look exactly what we have to do to build this team to a Super Bowl contender. As I said, this is a sim series, ladies and gentlemen. So that means that we're going to be simming the entire season to see exactly where we stand. Is the Browns going to win a Super Bowl if we sim it or what situation may be? With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Join me in the next episode. This has been the Wolfman Lewis, your godfather wolf. Scratch the call marks if you need to become a member of the Wolf Pack fam today. If you're new, sniff and bind that bell icon, become part of the notification squad. Do not forget to like the video. This is much appreciated. This has been the Wolfman Lewis. As I said, your godfather wolf. I am out. <laughs>